Okay. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about um, kind of not a follow-up. It's not attached to the other video I made about the balancing and all that stuff. But I think I just want, I've had an idea kind of floating around in my head probably since like the first year of this game. Because I've been playing this game a few months after it came out. Like I wasn't one of the first adopters. I wasn't like, oh, I'm, I was there day one. I was like a few months. I think the first... I was I came into the game when the first time Dizzy came around. So whenever that is, I have no idea when that is. Maybe that's a little later than I think it is. Like I said, whenever that is, that's when I was around. Because I didn't I wasn't around to see El Elson be overpowered. I wasn't around to see um, Axe God be like the greatest. I mean, he was pretty decent. I used him a little bit here and there, but like he wasn't like the greatest the way he used to be. Um, so I wasn't there that long ago. Um, but I was there since like the first time Dizzy came by. That was like the first like real unit that I pulled that I was like, oh my gosh, this unit's overpowered. And then she carried me through the whole game. Um, but anyway, uh, it's been an idea I've had for quite a while now. And it's something that comes from like the frustration of, of, of RTA because the thing with RTA is it's like, there's a, there's a, there's a large lack of fun involved with RTA just because of like gear differences and stuff like that. Um, like it's hard to play RTA and feel like you lost legitimately because that just because you know that guy had the gear to just out gear you, right? Um, again, there's nothing wrong with being a champion, but again, every so often you just get dumped with guys who are like from Legend who clearly don't know how to play the game very well. Um, but they just out gear you because you look at the draft and you're like, ah, I probably should have won that draft. <laughs> I mean, I probably did win that draft, but like his gear just outspaced all that. Um, but anyway, and not only that, the other thing is. What's irritating as someone who makes content for this game is the idea that, like, suddenly you get less respect because you're not in Legend, right? Like, unless you're in Legend, you don't have any right to talk about this game. But the people in Legend aren't always really good at this game. Like, I'm telling you right now, they, like, half of them, just they just suck. They just have enough money to out-gear and out-unit people because that's the other thing. You have enough money to get every unit, right? You can counter every strategy. There are certain strategies I can't really counter because I don't have the gear and I don't have the units for it. Um... But yeah, so that's, that's kind of like, this. that's the motivation for this thought that I've had. Uh, and it was kind of like, it isn't 100% even the playing field, but it, it gets rid of one variable. Because everyone, I mean, when you play a gacha, you kind of like the haves and have not mentality. Like, I like having a unit that not everyone else has, right? Not everyone out, not everyone has a Ravi, but I pulled for a Ravi and I, I used my hard-earned, like, currency on her. And now I have a Ravi, and I've 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 invested in her, and I've and I've taken care of her, and I've used her a lot. So I like she's a unit that you like. So you have favor in terms of like what units you like and what units you don't like. What's going on with all that stuff, right? Um, the point being that like, I think we all like the reason you play a gotcha is sometimes just to feel like be attached to units, right? And it's nice that not everyone has that unit. It's not available like a fighting game, right? Kind of similar to a fighting game, or like Pokemon, right? In Pokemon. You can just pick whatever units you want, right? Whatever the meta units, you just take them all with you and you can go play like that, right? You can do whatever you want. It, all the all the units are available to everyone. Um, but something like this, it's like you kind of have to play with your unit pool and play around other people's unit pools and play around like what's going on with them. Unfortunately, the thing with Legend is that like that becomes kind of like irrelevant because it's just they have all, they have everything, so you can't compete unless you have everything as well, right? Um, but again, going back to what I was saying, so the main the main point of this is I was like. It'd be nice, again, they're not going to do it because of, you know, as soon as I describe what it is, that you can see why they wouldn't, but it'd be nice to have some sort of game mode where they truncated, um, where they truncated substats. It's like a good built unit I can show off. <laughs> no, don't look at any of these guys. They all suck. Um, oh my gosh, all my units are so bad. Not the worst, but you know, whatever. I haven't used Landy in a while. I just we'll go back to Ravi, I guess. Yeah. It'd be nice to try a mode where you can truncate substats. Because when it comes to whales, what makes a whale stronger than a normal player is the substats, right? It's just the RNG and the substats. What would be nice is if there was some way to truncate them, which means let's say there's a game mode that takes all this stuff off. No substats, just flat attack from here. Uh, flat health from here and then flat defense from here and then over here Again, all the substats are gone and the only stats are these stats in the middle, right? These stats here Now you might say well, there's a few things 
wrong with that and we'll, we'll, we'll talk through them it's kind of the point of this video it's not just to suggest it but we'll talk about some problems i see with it um some solutions and and just some general like you know um so yeah it'd be nice to have a mode where they take off these substats right because again the difference between a legend player and a and a well i mean i keep saying uh champion but champion's kind of irrelevant things like the crab one um but the difference between them is the substats right the units are the same everything else is the same like this, you can't get more. I mean, you can get 65%, but don't look at that. That's a horrible ring. There's like 65%. The The difference between this, you can't really get higher than 65%. That's just it, right? Um, 70. But the, the point being that, like, the substats are what separates players in terms of how who paid the most, right? Who paid the most to get better substats is what it comes down to. Who got the most RNG uh, when you're rolling? Because not only do you have to roll into the right stat, you have to roll the right number on that stat, right? Um, so if we truncate all that, I think it'd be a lot more interesting because, like, okay, you could say, oh, it, it reduces build diversity, but, like, not really because, again, these three are just kind of, like, they're always static. Because this stat's always static, it's just whatever good stats you get out of this, right? Again, I mean, something, some stuff changes, right? You can run crit chance or whatever on that and build it the way you want to. But a lot of the, a lot of, you know, you can reduce a lot of the building to just these, right? Are you running Ravi? Are you running her with, like, a speed boot, a health thing and like a, a crit damage thing um or are you running like a counter set because i like the build variety in terms of picking sets right because truncating substats makes sets and main stats more valuable obviously i mean that's just a factual thing right um that's kind of like adding two plus two equals four um but anyway we're taking the, the substats away makes the build diversity kind of like you have to pick a set the set becomes more important and what you put here is more important so in a world where let's pretend that um uh, we truncated all the substats. One of the biggest problems that I'm going to foresee that, I mean, it's not, you know, you don't have to foresee, it's just like an obvious thing, is that crit chance is going to take a drastic hit, right? Because before you could run a crit damage necklace, because you can get enough crit chance from these substats, right? Because you can't get crit chance from anywhere else. Um, so basically, that just pushes people more towards like, okay, well, if I want this person to do damage and be tanky, I need to put a crit chance necklace up here and then um, run like a health and then you know health or whatever right but what if someone just like forgoes crit chance and then they just want off all, all health and maybe a speed here oh did i man i will leave that for now all speed here something like that right so the build diversity still exists it just means that not everyone can crit right now you have now what the what's going to come up is there's going to be certain crit specific characters right because right now it's like oh ravi is very strong because she can crit but like what if she didn't what if you couldn't crit and she had a lot of health Okay, she'd be harder to kill, but uh, she wouldn't be able to crit, so she wouldn't be able to hit as hard. And she would still hit somewhat hard, though, because she does still have the uh, the health scaling, right? So the point being that, like, yeah, the point being that, like, you can just get, like, getting rid of substats doesn't take away, like, suddenly every, like, unit that can't crit is now garbage. They just fulfill a different purpose, right? Now, now everyone's just a damage dealer. Uh, and there can be some units that are dedicated to crit, right? So maybe like her, right? She has 11% crit chance here in her, her self-imprint. And then you run her like with like maybe a, a crit chance. Um, I don't know. Where's the... Uh, what's a good crit chance? I don't actually, oh, here. Maybe you run her with this. And now she can have... She's a good crit unit. So you can put a crit damage necklace here on her opposed to other units, right? Um and now if you maybe if you want her to crit more again now we can run more crit chance sets right now you can't just be like okay well i'm gonna crit and then you know bring immunity or, or a force set right um or what about this unit where is he uh zahak like zahak has 50 percent built in does he have crit chance here no 50 percent built in crit chance right so now you can run him on like a crit damage set and like some crit damage up here as well right so i think like i said truncating the stats isn't going to destroy the game i think it'll just change it to some degree and i think it'll be a lot of fun to see how that turns out now right take ramiru for example you don't you're not going to run a crit damage necklace because you're not going to get him up to high enough crit chance right so you just run him with attack or something and it doesn't really matter whether he's critting or not because he's doing so much damage on this um on this anyway on fixed damage free damage um so yeah so i think i think in general the idea of truncating them is not as bad as you think it is and it also kind of alleviates like the pressure from having to like out gear legend players who just again they're just whales right so this way it comes down to who's more skilled now 
one of the bigger problems I foresee is that like because crit chance is going to be so diminished, attack scaling units are going to be like way stronger than they already are. Um, because something like her, she doesn't have to worry about crit or anything like that, right? You can just dump it all into attack, like the way she already is. So she doesn't lose out in this in this. Um, she doesn't really. Oh well, I have all. Oh no, she doesn't really lose out in that. But a lot of crit chance units are going to lose, and we're gonna, you know, Hua Young is gonna be even stronger than she already is, because her build's not gonna change, right? Like if you're running Ravi, her build is gonna change because she doesn't have enough crit chance to make use of a crit damage next. She's, her damage output is gonna drop by a huge amount, whereas something like Hua Young is basically gonna be left unchanged because um, she's still gonna do the same amount of damage. She's probably gonna do the same amount of speed. Uh, and all that stuff. And the other thing is, people are going to probably argue about, like, the speed substats. Like, oh, you know, who's going to outspeed who? How are you going to... It's just going to be a luck-based thing. A coin flip, right? Who's going to outspeed who? Like, if we have two units and they both have 120 speed or something, or I guess she has, like, what, 120... I don't know. I think she has 127. If we have two units and they both have 127, or something like that, like, people are like, oh, you know, the gear, the substats are going to make that difference. Well, for one, no, because... To get those substats of high speed to outspeed someone else, that was luck to begin with, right? Because you had to get the gear, you had to roll it and all that stuff. So that was luck. Second of all, um, it's already a, a flip, a coin flip anyway, because of how often, like you could have more speed than someone else, but because of the way the speed mechanic works, you're just going to lose anyway, right? This way, with truncated substats, it basically means that if someone's faster, if she goes up against her, She's going to win. She's going first. Uh, if she goes up against... Oh, I don't know where he is. Uh, where are you? If she goes up against him, he's going to win, right? No matter what, right? But, you know, uh, guess who has tide speed? If he... No, he was 128. Uh, this is 126. I don't know. If two people have the same tide speed, then just flip a coin the way it already is, right? So people complaining about, like, all oh, the substats and the speed or whatever. It's how you di find different. No, that's all RNG. Anyone, ask anyone who plays in Legend R RTA how miserable speeding is, how miserable speed tuning is. Um, because it's just a coin flip. Honestly, it's just a coin flip. So don't don't bring that argument as like a, oh, you know, having a bunch of people with the same speed is going to like, you know, no. Okay, that, that's that's dumb. Don't, don't bring that around. Um, but yeah, so those are like the main things of like, it's, it would just be fun to see how it works. I mean, hell, you could even have a game mode where you just take off gear, right? Gearless units. Play a gear uh, mode with gearless units, right? Um, and then, you know, maybe you can you can pick a, you can pick an artifact and, um, yeah, just, I guess that'll be it. Just an artifact. Um, but that'd be nice to play too, right? Like, again, it'd be nice to play a game mode where the gear isn't totally, like, oppressive. Of course, I am not... I'm not dumb, so I know why that's not possible. Is this health? No, it's defense, so I might have to change this. But I'm not, you know, I'm not a fool, so I know why that's not possible. And it's not possible because, for one, um, but I, I get, oh, before I say that, I guess, just ask yourself who are going to be the most vocal propon opponents, proponents, who's going to be the most vocal opponents of this game mode? If it gets suggested, and, and if I had a big channel, right, if you were to like say look through the comments and see who disagrees with me or who vehemently or, or strongly believes that that game mode would be like a bad idea. If you look at all those comments and look at all that stuff, I can guarantee you the only people who are going to be opposed to it are the people who are whales. And the people who also like for some reason are always looking out for whales because a lot of people who are free to play are like lower tier. But like every decision they make is like to protect the whales, to make sure their investment is is taken care of is probably um taken care of which sounds a lot like uh capitalism but you know whatever anyway the point being the main people who are going to be op uh, opponents of that are just going to be whales because suddenly if you introduce a game mode where skill is the main factor well all the money you spent trying to get speed gear is now irrelevant right like all that money you dumped in is now worthless like overnight it would be worthless because if we put a third game mode here, or like RTA had like a like a split in half, and it was like okay, regular world arena and and gearless world arena or or truncated world arena, something like that, right? Uh, everyone's gonna play this. This is gonna be the official mode. It's gonna be the official tournament mode. It's gonna be like the main mode. Even if you get no rewards out of it, like here you could make it so that like okay, 
you only get skins out of uh, regular RTA, and like the, the only rewards you get are from regular RTA. This other one, I'm not going to give you anything. People are still going to swarm to this other mode, to this other gameplay mode, right? Like, they're just going to let the whales, you know, fight amongst themselves. And the whales fighting amongst themselves gets really boring because you're not stomping on people. Like, the idea of being a legend doesn't mean anything because all you're doing is stomping on other people who have legend, right? Or fighting against other people who have legend. Um, that's what they're doing now, right? But at least, like, here's the thing. Even though whales are only fighting against other whales right now... As miserable as an experience that might be, they're still feeling happy because they're at least better than everyone below them, right? Like, at least they're in Legend, right? Legend has prestige because you're, like, at the top 1%. And that's what the only thing they're after, is feeling that top 1%, like, thing. Because, again, the challenge of skill isn't any different than it is at Challenger, right? Or Champion. I'm not, I'm in Gold because I haven't played RTA recently, but... Or at all, like, I think since the season started. I think I placed, but I'm not sure. Um... The point being that, like, right now, it feels good to be in Legend because you're better than, like, 99% of the players. But if, like, all the players move over to, to here, it's like, all you're doing is not, you know, your goal, your Legend status doesn't mean anything, for one. But second of all, it's also going to make it a lot more miserable because now there's only going to be a certain amount of people who are in um, in Legend, right? Because it has to, like, the you have to be evenly distributed, right? So now... Suddenly, the guy who was at the bottom tier of Legend now got dumped all the way down to, like, gold or something. You know what I mean? Well, actually... How does the ranking system work? Oh, no, I haven't, I haven't even placed. I don't know why I'm in gold. That's kind of weird. Uh, Legend. Yeah, so, like, top 1,000, right? Top 3,000. Top 100. Um, oh, actually, so it's not percentage-based. So... Th what I was thinking was legend was percentage based, but it's uh it's actually just placement based. So if you know, basically all these all these are gonna disappear and all you're gonna get is like these two guys. Um but nobody nobody plays RTA anyway. I mean, I don't know. The point being that like the 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 people who are gonna be most oh see there it is. The people who are gonna be most um like opposed to the idea are just gonna be the people who have invested like tons of money into getting gear. Um, which I, I mean, for one, I don't know. I'm kind of like, um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is, but I'm kind of like anything that screws over, like pay to win people. I'm a hundred percent like I'm down for it. Um, but like I said, Epic seven probably isn't ever going to do that because it's a dumb idea. Cause then suddenly, well, why invest so much money into gear when I can just do this now gear is still going to be important because you have to like keep up with the game's difficulty curve, but having players, make their own difficulty curve by competing with each other is actually a lot better of an idea. Um, yeah, it's, it's actually just a lot better of an idea because that way, like, it's infinitely going because now you can't stop chasing speed gear because someone else can't stop chasing speed gear. If if RTA wasn't a thing or, like, if, if PvP wasn't a thing, right, you would kind of just get bored because, like, you just need to get enough speed and enough gear to do Wyvern, and then there you go. You're just getting more gears. Like, why... I don't know, for whenever next Wyvern comes out. Um, but the gear grind would slow down. It wouldn't be as as as, um, as prevalent. Right now, it's like an arms race against every other player. So that's what keeps people constantly grinding. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think it would be... I think it's pro like probably maybe like at the end. Like when... when whenever... Whenever... Um, whenever Smilegate wants to admit that the game is going to die eventually... It'd be nice if they just, like, did us one last favor and gave us that game mode. Because um, that'd be a whole lot of fun, personally, I think. Um, yeah, I think it'd be a lot of fun. What I what I, what I was kind of thinking about doing one day was maybe, like, making something like Pokemon Showdown. For those of you who know what that is. Pokemon Showdown, but making it with Epic 7 units. Because programming that stuff isn't really that hard. Um, getting visual assets and all that stuff could be hard, but maybe I could help find someone who could help me, like rip the the game models from the game and then like put them in there and then you just pick and maybe have like again like a gearless a gearless um have a gearless mode or um have a truncated mode i, I prefer truncated just because um i still like to build diversity of picking your 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 mids this picking this stat as well as picking your set right going like okay this unit needs to crit uh, obviously, I, I can't get crit in the substats, so I'm gonna get crit on. Uh, I'm gonna run three crit sets, uh, and then like, or you know, maybe I'm gonna sacrifice a crit chance necklace and then run like a crit damage set or something like that. 
Um, something like that in general. Um, again, and then, you know, so yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think it'd be cool to see how that turns out. Um, I think it would make balance more interesting too because it's like, oh, what is, you know, how is, how, how is this unit? Or, or it would make certain, like, kits stronger like it would make you realize that okay this this unit is strong based on their kit only and not gear right um but again I, the same thing would happen i mean i'm not gonna pretend like what's her name i'm not gonna pretend like conquer lilius isn't gonna be strong in that mode she's still gonna be just as strong in that mode as she is now but like looking at people's kit would be a lot easier to just like determine it because now gear is not a factor you don't have to worry about gear at all <laughs> she's so strong she actually has like the highest like these stats in the game i think i don't think i've ever seen anybody with these high <laughs> uh whatever these stats are i don't know what they're called but these stats like politics like now but anyway um yeah i don't think i mean it's not gonna fix like broken characters but i think it'll make it different i think you know for a lot of us at least changing it a little bit would be a lot of fun um but yeah, I don't know. Like I said, they're not going to do that um, just because, again, they're going to lose a lot of people. Right now, I mean, can you? I mean, right now you can kind of. You can just go in and like... It'd be nice if they give us like a custom lobby to be able to do that because I'd you know, have like subscriber tournaments where we're all like uh, running a truncated mode or something like that. Because right now what you can do is like unequip all your units and then go into a room and then play unequip versus unequip, but... For one, I mean, you're not going to unequip all your units. That's stupid. Uh, for two, I mean, it's just too much work. Um, like, I'd rather just jump in here and fight against somebody who's, like, you know, also under the same rules. Plus, it would give us a chance to, be like, you can look at... It'd be nice to see, like, you go over here, and then when you click on Arena, like, you can see YouTubers or other, like, whales and stuff. You can see, like, immediately, like, okay, I have Legend here in, in, in regular Arena, but over here I'm, like, barely gold in, like, the truncated Arena. And you can just look at them and be like, okay, well, there you go. That person obviously doesn't really know how to play the game. They're just, like, buying their way through. Um, but again, whales, as much as they like to spend, they also don't like being identified as just being spenders. So that's another thing to realize. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be, like, healthy for the game, but also probably lose them a lot of money. So, like, not monetarily healthy. I think it'd be, like, ethically health healthy if, if that's, like... Uh, a way to look at it but yeah um yeah that, that's about it i was just like my main idea was like kind of i made that other video and i started thinking about like back to this idea i've had for a while um i think this would be a lot of fun to do try to like to see because it, it's a more pure version of like the game right so you don't have to worry about like um grinding substats out all the time and whatnot um of course again even with this even with this other mode, you'd still have to re-gear your units for that mode specifically. Because again, like, if you don't have any crit chance in substats, a lot of people are going to lose their crit damage necklaces. Like her, I'm not going to be able to run this on her because she doesn't have, um, she won't have enough. Um, so that's, again, you'd have to re-gear a lot of units anyway. Some you wouldn't, but some you probably would. Um, yeah, it would also make, like, it just makes certain people a lot stronger, like, like, take tanks. Tanks are going to be really good just because, like, they don't have to worry about crit chance. They just have, like, all the basic stats. Um, it makes people who are hard to gear because they need too many stats even harder to gear. Because now you have even less avenues to give them those stats. Um, but I think that would just, you know, make the game a little more interesting. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Again, I've, I ramble on too much and this video's already gone long enough for a simple idea. Um, yeah. I don't know how to get that done. Like I said, I was wondering if maybe i couldn't like find some way to make some sort of pokemon showdown-esque thing but that's like a huge undertaking and i don't like i don't think i'm gonna like spend time doing that because uh when you work uh when you work 40 plus hours a week uh time is money and uh i don't got that kind of money <laughs> um so yeah um you know just see you until next time uh friday i have i'll be doing the guild war i will be doing guild war because i don't work on fridays so um Mondays and Wednesdays are just annoying because I have to work and like having to do the having to make the video after work is like annoying, but we you know whatever. Oh uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time then.